All right, we are set up here in Nevada. Made it, made great time. We got everything set up. I got my bow all ready. I'll throw my head on. And we are headed out. I think it's about five, what time is it? It's six o'clock, so all these bucks, they're probably up and starting to feed now. So we're gonna get out there and just fingers crossed, see what we can find. I know there's some big boys that have been hitting some of these lower country fields. And if we're not seeing much down here, then maybe either tonight or maybe do two days down here, we're gonna head up into those mountains. So everything's set. We, we've got the fins and feathers mobile ready to go if we need it, but these guys are ready to go and we're, we're headed out. Wish us luck. All right, we just dropped Joe off on a field. He's gonna be watching actually two really big ones. See if anything comes out. I've seen some big bucks over there in uh, years past, so we'll see. And then I'm gonna drop Nate off just right up here, watch a couple more fields, and then I'm gonna go down to where um, we found that, that bigger buck um, just a couple weeks ago on our scouting trip. So now I'm gonna sit on that one and uh, just see what happens. These deer definitely move around from time to time, so who knows if that thing's even in the same area, but fingers crossed. seeing much yet. He said Nate saw some good bucks, decent bucks where he was, but Joe's not seeing nothing but does and I haven't even seen a deer in my field. Bunch of antelope out there, coyotes, but still not up for deer, so. Pick, pick these edges apart. They should be coming out of these sage brushes soon, coming out into these fields, so we'll see. All right, well, no, no big boys tonight. We did see some bucks. Um, Joe saw some decent bucks, I think a four point, maybe a big three, which actually was with <clears throat> one of the big boys that we were that we're after that we saw when we were out scouting a couple weeks ago. So big boy wasn't with him, but um, it's a good sign that he's around. Um, we're back at the cabin now, making some dinner. Just made some uh, Axis deer burgers that are about to go on the Traeger. Um, did something a little different with these. I put some uh, salsa verde in there. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Just sounded good, so. We'll see him tomorrow, boys. We're gonna find the big boys, I promise. I'm gonna go throw these on. I'm out. All right, here's our setup. We got the Ranger. She's nice and hot. These bad boys on. All right, there they go. All right, first morning here in Nevada. We're gonna stay down in the low country today. Um, we're gonna just see if we can still turn up any of these bigger bucks down here. If not, we're going back up into the high country, so. Nate, what's up, dude? <laughs> dude, I'm brushing my teeth out of here. Because <laughs> of how bad it is in there. <laughs> so, whoops. We just bedded up some bucks this morning. Uh, Joe found them from the stacks over there. Got my bow, they're bedded up. We're gonna sneak in. It's this big, tall, thick, nasty stuff behind us. But I got my boy Nate Dog <laughs> hiding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sneaking in behind him. We're gonna see how this goes. Is that one of the Montana decoys? Yeah. So I've never used one, but it looks pretty damn good. 
I mean, if I was a buck, <laughs> if I was a buck, I'd sit and look. But let's go see if we can get a, an arrow off. All right, here we go. Early morning, we got our packs all packed. We are headed up into the high country. All right, we just made it. Time to do work. This is some big, steep country. Yeah, we have to go up this. This is a false peak. And goes up top there, flattens out, and then back up again to a really high peak. So we got some work ahead of us. yards below so one nice three by four um, the other ones were all pretty young but um, just not the age class we're really after we uh, like I said found a couple old mature deer two weeks ago so we we're trying to find them made it to another peak sitting here glassing and uh, end up seeing another guy glassing about I don't know, 200 yards away so he ends up working our way sat down and talked with them he actually saw the, the two bucks the group of bucks that we saw two weeks ago got a really cool photo of them um, and so, kind of in a weird spot here. Don't know ethically if we should go after these bucks since we found them and those are the ones we were after. And now that he saw them this morning, uh, we don't really know what to do. So, just trying to sit here and figure it out. Might end up just bailing on those and trying to maybe go find some other ones. But two really nice bucks, unfortunately. So, we'll just see. We're going to talk to him and see what he wants to do. This is his first true archery hunt. So, he's got that going for him. But, Let's see what we can turn up. After chatting for a little bit, we decided to team up and peek over the edge together. This was the spot that he had seen those bucks last earlier that morning. We ended up getting inside bow range on a couple younger bucks, but never found the two big ones. Well guys, that is a wrap here in Nevada. We pretty much got our butts kicked. <laughs> we hunted hard, we hit the mountain, and the bucks that we had found up there from scouting, um, there was a guy up there named Chip. You guys saw we met him and uh, he had seen those bucks that morning so we just felt it was ethically right to just back out let him chase those bucks he he had never killed a deer before sorry a mule deer before and uh, he was camping up there so we backed out of the high country came back down to this low country had lots of bucks all over the place could have killed some some okay bucks but was holding out for those older more mature deer and tag soup is what happened so um, that's the name of the game, but I'm headed back and uh, I got about a week and then I'm headed to Oregon for another archery mule deer hunt. So, um, and then it just starts rolling trip to trip after that. So we're here loading up. We're heading back to California. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry we didn't get a kill on, on shot, but we did get a lot of cool content and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So it was fun doing it. We'll see you uh, guys on the next one. Later.